Welcome to Bobby's Kitchen. Today we are going to make Grandma Betty's sour cream coffee cake. So let's get started. Okay, in a large mixing bowl, we want one stick of softened butter, three quarters of a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, three eggs, and one cup of sour cream. Okay, we want to blend this or mix this all together until it's creamed. Okay, we got the lumps of butter in here and stuff pretty much broken up. So now I want to add two cups of flour and I also have a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm just going to add the flour a little bit at a time and then I'll add in the baking soda and baking powder. Slum free. So, he's out of here. Okay, so I just rinse, rinse the batter off of these real quick. And now I have a smaller bowl for the topping and the in between parts. So in this we're going to add six tablespoons of butter. And this butter is softened as well. Take it off there for a sec. One cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to mix the butter and the uh, brown sugar up a little bit first, and then I'll add in these. Uh, it's a cup of chopped pecans. But let me get this mixed up first so I don't break the pecans all up in little tiny pieces. down pretty low and mix my nuts in here. Okay. Don't want to miss any of the topping part. That's the good stuff. So now you can put this in a 9 by 13 pan if you want to. You can put it in a bunt cake pan if you want to and since I know one of my 9x13's was tied up for supper and the other 9x13 is going to be tied up tomorrow so I have um, two I guess probably 10 inch I don't know um, shallow casseroles it's almost like a quiche size I guess so I'm going to go ahead and spray the inside of these over the sink always over the sink And the oven is preheating to 350. So what we want to do with this is we want to layer this and, and you want half the batter in, uh, you want to divide it and stuff so like you got a little bit of batter in each one of these, then a topping, then the rest of the batter, then finish it off with the uh, like streusel topping here on top of this. So. Get all the goodies out of there. I don't want to waste any of that. And after this comes out and cools off just a little bit, we will make a icing with some uh, powdered sugar, a little bit of vanilla, and 
some milk. Just a simple icing. You wouldn't have to, I suppose, if you wanted to just eat it with a streusel topping, that'd be fine. Linda likes hers with icing, so that's the way we're going to make it. It's the way her mother made it, so that's the way we're going to do it. And since this is Betty's recipe, we're going to stick to the way Betty did it. Or I'll get in trouble. <laughs> okay. Now let's put this off to the side here. Okay, so now we got to... Hopefully I can get you in there. I'm going to put a little bit of batter in this one. batter in this one. Okay. So got a little bit left in there. So we're just gonna spread this around some. And spread this other one around. Just a little too much in this one. We'll take a little bit out. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to stick my hands in this. It would be easier to sprinkle the topping like this than it would be to since it's not like super crumbly, it's got some butter in it. I'll just have to make sure and save some for the top. Let's put the rest of this on the top. for that part. And so let's finish off the top with the rest of the streusel stuff.
So, let's clean up the edges of this. So, this recipe calls for it to cook at 350 degrees for 50 minutes in a greased pan. Well, I am going to keep a little closer eye on that than that. Um, I'll probably check this at about 30 minutes since, like I said, these pans are smaller than like a, a bundt cake pan would be. It's quite a bit shallower. So I will probably check this at about 30 minutes. So just to put it in the oven and here we go. We'll be back. Yeah, I'm videoing right now. I'm putting icing on it. And 
there we go.